was off to a flying start anyway. It was on the 715 from Brighton to Victoria. It was put on by a group of commuters who thought Aladdin would be just the ticket for their Christmas party. Ray Kemp reports. Commuters arriving at Brighton station for the 715 to Victoria might have thought they had not quite recovered from the night before. For it's not every day you see pink fairies waiting to board the train or you are offered a live star-studded performance of Aladdin on the London Express. But the cast were all there, ready, willing, and waiting to perform. Well, isn't it a bit early in the morning for pantomime? Well, it's never too early for pantomime. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm sure some people won't even get to work when they see it. I mean, can you imagine something like this at quarter past seven in the morning? Are you looking forward to the yeah, uh, trip out? Very, very much. I'm looking forward to the trip back. Better. We've had a few drinks and... Don't you feel a bit of a fairy dressed up like you are? I've been wearing a fairy. That's a good way to start Christmas. And would you like British Rail to put it on every day like this? Uh, as long as it's on another train, yeah. <laughs> At Croydon, there was just time for a quick cong around the platform before climbing back on board to continue the performance. <laughs> As cast and commuters stumbled off the train at Victoria, the merriment continued. Then, as if Aladdin had rubbed his magic lamp, the train returned to Brighton, and British Rail returned to normal for another year. Ray Kemp, Coast to Coast. Those Brighton commuters are a bit of a wag, really, aren't they? they well, the British take what? their pleasure seriously at this time of the year. Particularly British men who love dressing up as women. <laughs> Any excuse. <laughs> Talking of pantomime. I've been coming two weeks. This is my second week. Can I get a drink back for you? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Are, you. are you enjoying it then, the Brighton? It's brilliant, line? yeah. I mean, they're very, very nice on the train. I mean, you can speak to anybody. They're really nice. Well, this is just the normal morning procedure. <laughs> we always do this every morning. <laughs> are you happy you And we have lots of party poppers and, you know. <laughs> After all this champagne, are you hoping to do some work today? No, not at all. No, I find this is quite amazing. It's the first time you've uh, done anything like this, and I hope it's not going to be the last. Um, Tracy here, Tracy Rogers, and I, we've worked many, many years in <laughs> pantomime, and um, we're now residents of Brighton, having businesses, and uh, when we were asked if we could help with the charity, of course, we said yes. When the train pulled into East Croydon, there was no holding them back. To the surprise of many on the platform, a spirited rendition of the Croydon Conga. The annual Brighton to London season ticket costs nearly £1,700, and today the pantomime special raised hundreds of pounds for a Brighton charity. As for the commuters, many of them were planning another party on the return trip tonight. James Trollope, BBC South Today, at Victoria Station. <laughs> <laughs> Outrageous, isn't it? I... Long, long ago Lived a fool with a dream His was a world Filled with fantasy No one could see What he could see So people called him a fool with a dream and the world that he planned to see he dreamed alone strong on his own sad to be known as a fool 